guys, Curl Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Greg. Aaron. And we are back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, where last time, what happened? Stevie planted the drugs. That's what I was going to say, but I forget who Stevie was. Stevie he was, was uh, his son yeah. of Wayne's brother. Yeah, that's who it was. Yeah. That's right. He planted the drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, Boyle felt a little jealous. A little. But then he was right. He was. Yep. So... Um, never found out what was in the auction suitcase of mystery. <sighs> nope. God damn it. Don't never know. Will. Well, Don't know. to be fair, you might find out this episode. Chucky and the Coot! Hey, Gina. We got an anonymous gift basket. French chocolates, French cheeses. Tiny oh, French no, it's from Kevin. Thinking of you best, Dr. Kevin Cosner, PhD. <laughs> what? Use their pet names. <gasps> their pet names! <laughs> Did they went and bought another one? Rubber bands. That man really knows me. <laughs> Is it a Chris? Hemsworth? Evans? Pratt? Pine? Brown? Cross? <gasps> Is it a non-Chris? This is a sensitive matter, and I can only disclose... Chris this. Cross? <laughs> yeah. The last movie she saw was a documentary about spelling bees. Wrong. It was about the font Helvetica. I've seen that documentary. It's really good. Can I just give my case to Hitchcock and Scully? I mean, they clearly have a ton of time on their hands. Hitchcock hasn't even gotten out of his chair today. Hey, Jay. I can go anywhere in this thing. <laughs> but <I> shouldn't. <laughs> you didn't sign up last year either. Or the year before. She afraid of Are needles? you afraid of needles? I don't like being stabbed by someone so they can steal my blood. I'm crazy. <gasps> I understand. Only problem is Sarge doesn't think you can handle it. He's right. No, he's not. <laughs> he's right. You're gonna take this case and prove him wrong. Yeah. <laughs> We're still gonna use lunch, right? <laughs> I promise I'll be professional, even if it's Diane Weist. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna meet Diane Weist. She's so sexual. Our victim is John William. <laughs> Weisselbrot. Uh, remind me who that is again. You're kidding. He's a world-renowned oboist. First chair with the New York Symphony Orchestra. Kevin and I are huge fans of Weisselbrot's work. We are what the internet sometimes refers to as Weisselbrot fans. Not Weisselbroniacs. <laughs> oh, that is very good. I'm going to use that liberally. <laughs> <laughs> Residual cushion fart is about a 6 out of 10. He's been gone an hour, maybe two. But where? Hot dogs. They went for hot dogs. How do you know? There's a water stain on the ceiling in the shape of a bun. <laughs> <laughs> he saw these hot dogs. Hitchcock's my middleman, Reno Vegas. Mobster from Reno, Las Vegas. I said my old boy too soon. In Zombieland? 20 minutes, he's going in totally alone, unarmed, without a cell phone, to meet with one of their guys to set up a buy. So, how do you like our plan now? It's a disaster, man. We gotta stop it. Reno disaster? Vegas. Tell me one thing that's wrong with Operation Beans. Operation Beans? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you perform Box Opal Sonata in G minor at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. I was in the front row. You were escorted out for gasping too loud. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Is <laughs> that uh, <laughs> so close to We are women standing up and supporting each other and becoming. New fear, listening to Amy and Spiros. Be back in a half hour, Aim. Don't forget about What if that cop car drives Wait. away? Come back! Come back, I can't do this! No, you're the best! <laughs> <laughs> so mean. You did it. How'd it go? Well, the first 10 minutes were really terrible. The diaper did not fit. It was for a baby. She put it on? I think the lesson here is that as women, we- No, 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 no! You close that joke again and I will kill you! You hear me? I will kill you! Chickpea! I can't stand the thought of you being alone. Deal. Let's make it a blood pack. Oh, look! I'm already bleeding. <laughs> you're my buddy, Alamo, and you're Black Fred. Black Fred? Why Black Fred? There's no other Fred. <laughs> you don't know that. Spelling mistakes are a callback. Well, no way. That's my partner now. 
I'm going in. Also, I can't call for help. I don't have any quarters. <laughs> quarters. Hard to argue with that logic. <laughs> quarters. Quarters. Black <laughs> bread. <laughs> Captain is a fan, so I came by to give him a little gift as a thank you. It's a signed copy of his book of mouth exercises, Read It and Weep. Read with two E's. Oh. It's my favorite joke of all time. <laughs> John, you're under arrest. What? Excuse me? He staged the robbery for the insurance money. Do you have one iota of evidence? I found the oboe for sale online. We traced the IP address back to Mr. Weisselbron's computer. Oh, John. Oh, okay, John. Oh, my God. No. Oh. Oh. I got him. <laughs> He's just laying there. <laughs> oh, man. Look at him. This is bad. He hates standing up. <laughs> Who are you again? Gina from sales. I have the plant on my desk. Oh, yeah. You want to sit with us? <laughs> yeah. We'll all be dead so soon. What? I would love to sit. <laughs> you faced your fear. And I emerged victorious. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> <laughs> you didn't think I'd put my actual hair in a ponytail. Are you insane? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you really think they're going to kill us? Oh, no, no, I'm starting to panic sweat. What was he doing starting before? To? What have you been doing for the past hour? Normal sweating. Wait a minute. <laughs> if you get killed, what happens to all your debt? Loophole! Wait, he can move. Oh, you sweaty chair spinning morons. And you're gonna get us out. He can go anywhere in one yes, of those spinny chairs. He can. Yep. He's good at it. I finally understand the old adage, never meet your heroes. This is just like when I found out Robert Frost was from California. <laughs> I think I figured out a way to make it up to you. Oh my god, is Diane Weist here? <laughs> no. I've hired a trio of classical musicians to perform a Shostakovich cantata. Are you stealing kitchen supplies? Just let us have this stuff. You have so much and we have so little. Perhaps I'll just <laughs> buy your drink instead. Yeah, that would be best. Classical musicians are savages. Because still, they don't get any money, they're still not. in the place. <laughs> Starving artists. I'm I'm right. Right. It's amazing. It's like a big lazy Michelle Kwan. But how's he gonna get up the stairs? Jay, he already did. <laughs> okay. It's go time. <laughs> Help! My man's having a heart attack! Let's go! Grab his gun! It's too wet! It's not sticky because I'm so juicy! <laughs> I told you I knew what I was doing. Black Fred, think quick! No, no, no! Oh, the gun, man! We're gonna get the rest of these guys. Oh, it's time for Operation Beans Phase 2. The refrying. Sure you're ready to go through with this? No! Stab me! Stab me! Do it! Just do it! Don't touch him. I'm sucking myself up. Ah! Ah! Don't look at that look at me. Do your job, Swing me! <laughs> <laughs> try that next time, Mary. Yeah, try that. Everybody, give it up. I think for they tell me to leave. Scully. To thank you for all you did, bringing down a drug ring. We have a little present for you. Brand new, top of the line wow. desk chairs. Extra padding with adjustable height and recline. Hey, chair. Get ready to meet your new best friend. Mm. My ass. Mm. Oh. Oh. That was very nice of you. <laughs> they did good. Also, I was worried they might want to go out in the field more, and I need something to keep them at their desks. You really think that that is going to keep them at their... And they're both asleep already. And the city's safer for it. <laughs> Sleep tight, the magnificent oafs. You deserve it. Ruby Lot. Oh man. <laughs> House mouses. Ah, uh, that one. I didn't laugh as hard. Uh huh. But I had a good pace of laugh. It had a really good pace. There was something that got me really good. I don't know what it was. Uh, I think it was Black Fred. I think Black Fred. It was Black Fred. Black Fred. Really it's like Black, Black Fred. Fred. Why do you mean Black Fred? There's only there's they only one the Fred. Fred. They don't know. They that. don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, it gives like a history. Like if you just met someone and you're like. I, you know, you know, this is Eric, and this is Calvin, and this yeah. is, you know, like, 
tall Rick, implying there's a short Rick, you sure. know? Like, you, you have, like, there's some history here that you don't know about, so. Or like Fat Tony that's no longer fat. Yeah, right? It's like there's a history there. Previously known as Fat Tony. The Tony previously known as. So, no, I like that. Uh, I ooh. did like, two things I liked with Gina was I liked that she was the one out of the detectives to realize this basket is for Holt. Yeah. <laughs> Not just for the reason. <laughs> Out of all these detectives eating everything. They're all blinded by the sweets and the yeah. pretzels and everything. Though I love the turnaround of being like, stapler, scissors, rubber bands. He does know that me. That man really knows me. <laughs> and I think the french fry jokes would have been there. Rather than at the weed farm. French fries. Yeah. What do you mean? They're like, you know, do you see that over there? French fries? Uh, With the basket? Yeah. Maybe. But Holt's reading of um, that man really knows me. Like, it was just so different than everything else. Uh-huh. You know, like, his love for Kevin just really came through. It really did. And that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> but that's not what Kevin gave him. <laughs> and the other thing that kind of got me from Gina was uh, just the, the, the wig. <laughs> I like, she wouldn't put her actual like, Wait, hair what? In her that was a wig? And then Rosie yeah. did the same thing. <laughs> no, that was really good. I have to give credit when Gina makes me laugh like that. I like the Operation Bean and all the different plays off from that. Chickpea! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Time for phase two. Refried. Refried Re beans. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I would like a sweet wiener. Yeah, I'd want to try it. Mm. I mean, we've already had our arguments over ketchup, mushroom, sure. and all that stuff. Like, you want to toss best. chocolate, like, yeah. syrup onto the mix? I was watching Endgame the other day in the beginning there with Hawkeye's family. They're having hot dogs in their picnic. And it was like, what do you want? Mayo or mustard? And I was like, fuck, they even have ketchup there. I guess it's not and then someone was like, mayo? Why don't you have mayo? I was like, I don't know. And the little kid's like, ketchup. He's like, oh, I got that. Like, Thank God. <laughs> they brought it, you know? <laughs> the other one that really got me was when Hitchcock and Scully were making their pack together. Like if, if one of us dies first. Sure, I want you to marry my wife if I die. I don't want you to be I don't alone. want you to be alone. Marry Lucille if I die. It's like, all right, we'll make a blood pack. Hey, I'm already bleeding. And he, does, he doesn't want to no marry his wife. For some reason, Rick, that makes me think of you. Like I could gosh. see, I could see us talking. Like, let's make a blood pack. And you're like, hey, I'm already bleeding. Like what? And you're like, I am. It does happen a lot. Not quite that bad though. No, he just. It looked like he just cut his hand wide yeah. open. I'm already that was a bleeding. Terrible cut. Yeah. Ah. I love that they're famous for stopping this one killer in the park because he, he slipped on chili. He, he, slipped on his, my chi he did chili. slip on my chili. <laughs> and who bumped into him and make him spill his chili? <laughs> Me. My, I, I love the idea of like, all right, could have been gone more than two hours. Yeah, right. Then we get hot dogs. How do you know? There's a stain in the ceiling. Let's That's so dogs. funny. They, they're reading him. They know exactly what he thought. That's so funny. I don't know. Chocolate and a hot dog. One hot I want hot dogs now. Yeah, but what kind of chocolate? Why not just like Hershey's syrup? It right? definitely it looked like, like Hershey's Hershey syrup. syrup. Would it, it be like Hershey's just, syrup? It looked like just chocolate it's, syrup. It's what it looked like, yeah. Like, because uh, Hitchcock or Scully, Scully had one. Yeah? Hmm. That's Scully? Damn it. I'm, I'm never. I'm never. It's better that Scully you Scully has the, the, like, the flat top the hair. The flat top, okay. And then Hitchcock has the no hair. And I love the, I'm Tex Dallas from Dallas, Texas. And he's Reno Vegas from Reno, Las Vegas. <laughs> also, like, the, no Rob the Robert Frost from California just really got me. I yeah, didn't, I, didn't I, don't, I don't know why it did. But I didn't get I that didn't in Boyle's uh, Diane Weist. Well, he talks about like you know the the road not taken. Like I always see Robert Frost as like someone in nature, and like when you think of California, like my first thought is L.A. and San Diego and all the big cities. But sure. I guess like Northern California is pretty wildernessy. Sure. I remember reading Robert Frost back in, like, school. Robert Frost and it was a girl. Emily Dickinson? Yeah, that was it. I want to say Emily, but I can't think of the last name. <laughs> I mean, I definitely recognize this actress, Diane oh. Weiss. She is, um... But I wouldn't say that she, she's so sexual. <laughs> I think she's in Q, Iowa. That's not what I know her from, but I can't place it for some Let's reason. Let's see. Uh, the movie, Weiss? she was in Edward Scissorhands. Sure. Yeah, it's uh, W-E-I-S-T. 
The Lost Boys. What not, kind of t- Footloose. Uh, TV shows has she been in? TV shows. That's what I know her from. The TV shows. Uh, Law and Order. The Law and Order. Life and yep. Pieces. That's that's the one. I think she was the DA. Anyway, mm. like I said, I recognize her, but that's Boyle's thing, which I guess he was. Yeah. It makes sense, depending on his, his past sex life. Sure. Yeah. Remember the ro- the Transformer? He was, like, was like making love to a Transformer. <laughs> <laughs> Her hip has so much torque. <laughs> Why did Santiago put the diaper on? She tried. I mean, she, it was too small. I know. Had to go to the bathroom. Because what she happened? was going to pee herself a fright. Yeah, yeah. I just pee, into a car. I don't, I don't know. You just pee? Probably. I do like... It's it's one of the funniest jokes for me in this episode. I wish I could see it, but maybe it only works as a written joke. But you were the guy who was kicked out for gasping too loud <laughs> at an oboist, you know? I want to, like, I don't know. Don't you want to kind of see that guy do that? How loud do you <gasps> gasp? I don't know. I, I have no idea. And then, yeah, the uh, the poor classical people. like. Let yeah. us be! We need this more than you! You have so much and we have so little! <laughs> they're just taking like paper towels. Yeah, they're just stealing from the cops! It's, it's funny. Just, I like it's like it. the reverse oh of when Trump was throwing all those paper towels things. It is! He was like <laughs> helping these people. Oh my god, man. That paper oh. towel thing. Operation Beans. So who's like someone you consider a celebrity that you would freak the fuck out to see but no one else would really care? Tommy Wiseau? People would care. Neil Breen? Neil Breen definitely would be a thing. That would be um, fun. Well, mine was uh, when we were at E3, uh, there was a guy... Oh, who, yeah. Who, ...who was on a board game. Yeah. Uh, he was yeah. like a board game reviewer, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, Paul. Yeah. And I saw him, I was like... He's like, Rick, go up and talk to him. I'm like, no, 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 I can't. Don't meet your heroes. <laughs> Like he probably he might know you, Rick. <laughs> we were in the middle of filming uh, the lounge skit. We had like twenty minutes left. We, we did. Get out of we there. were ch- desperately trying to get. Yeah, so I didn't have time. Stuff. He was too nervous. Yeah, no, I can't do it. Do you uh, have one, Aaron? I don't know. It probably before. Like I don't know so much now, but it probably would have been Sam Witwer back before. Where, like, before I, he, okay. like I feel like he's more popular now. Yeah, he's very popular. You know, but I feel like there was a time period where like. Like, you and I would have been like, oh, man, it's Sam Witwer. But yeah. the majority of people would be like, who? You know? Like, Sam would definitely, like, he walks down the street. There's going to be one person that's recognized. Not everybody, obviously. I mean, he's not, I don't think he's like, like a Tom Cruise or a... You no, know, not, not at all. Like but, that, like, but if he, you know, if he walks through, I don't know, New York City, he's going to get recognized. Uh, Times Square. He's at Times Square. Like, Rick's guy... Most likely will not be recognized. Sam Whitworth's going to get recognized a bit, right? Probably. I would think so. I don't know. Shut up and sit down. I feel like it's pretty big. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Hope you're enjoying them. You can go over to patreon.com slash blindweave and check them out. Also, just make sure you subscribe. We have a new one of these coming out every single Monday. And at the very least, like the video. That helps us out a lot. And these will show up more in your feed.